Mm -hmm. Uh, But any other just cool things about linguistics that most people don't know? Yeah. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of really cool things depending on. (laughs) Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, see, and I find most things really, really fascinating. But yeah, uh, it's 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 hard to pin it down. But I think for me, the funnest thing, because I'm a phonologist, is understanding how speech sounds. They're stored in the brain in a certain way, but yet they're not pronounced that way all the time. Um, I think that's one of the coolest things. Um, I guess an example of this would be the sound. Uh, t. The sound t in our brain, we picture a T when we hear that sound, but it actually has like five different pronunciations depending on where it is in a word and what's going on around it. So, I mean, it, is there a an alphabet out there that can capture all of these sounds or do we just do like you were doing with Zapotec and just kind of repurpose existing alphabets is there one like mega alphabet out there with 500 letters that can actually capture all this so there is one alphabet that we use as linguists Um, it's called the international phonetic alphabet Um, though more accurately we should call it the international phonemic alphabet but it's our it's already been named it's been that way for a hundred plus years so we'll stick with the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA. Um, It was developed as a way for linguists to accurately transcribe as many of the world's languages as possible, and new symbols are being added all the time. Um, Most recently, 2005. 2005, they added new ones? Mm Mm-hmm. And there's likely to be more where we're discovering new phonemes? Yep, as we go out and study these languages that are undocumented, um, we're able to go in and study them, and we tend to find new sounds, Um, especially as we start moving away from Europe. Um, As we move into Africa and Papua New Guinea, which are some of the most densely, linguistically dense areas of the world, you know, Papua New Guinea has almost a thousand languages spoken on that island alone. Oh my, I had no uh, idea. Yeah, and in Africa, easily too, about a thousand to fifteen hundred languages spoken on the continent of Africa. That that makes a bit more sense with all the the space and the indigenous languages and things like that. But I, had, yeah, that Papua New Guinea thing kind of throws me a little bit because uh, yeah. yeah, that's feel like you'd run into a new language every fifth person pretty much uh, <laughs> i understand the philippines are also quite linguistically diverse it is yeah it's um quite dense um there um, almost every island has its own filipino language or yeah now, now I have to ask, like with biologists, if you discover a new species, right, the, that's, a, that's a big deal. That's a feather in your cap. For field linguists, is that like a, a badge of honor? Like, hey, guys, I, I discovered a new sound. Um, yeah. Um, and for some linguists, it's actually discovering a brand new language that's never, that people didn't know about. Um, that actually happened, oh, like a year or two ago. Um, somebody was doing field work on a language and I believe it was Malaysia and they come and they always thought that, Oh, there was only one language spoken here, but then suddenly they're like, wait a minute, that's a completely different language. I've never heard that before. And like they started researching it and no one had ever heard of this language before in academia. I mean, you know, there's people speaking it. So of course people had heard of it, but yeah, people are making discoveries of brand new languages uh, new sounds, new ways of organizing language. I feel like we're coming full circle back to where we started here when you, when you talked about in the beginning that there's like nearly 7,000 languages on Earth and we only know about, yeah, maybe a tenth of them. Uh, so, yeah, language hunters out there and then you're you're sorting out all the, the phonemes and the syntax 
and all that, yes? Yep. 